All right, and hello everyone, it is me, Jay Burns, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you all how to make this bracelet right here. This bracelet is actually not my own original design. This design is actually really old. This is here, the ladder bracelet, and the original tutorial will be linked in the description to also for like the original creators, which I believe is Rainbow Loom. And so their tutorial will be linked in the description, but anyway, I'm going to be showing you how to make this bracelet here on the monster tail. So, yeah. So anyway, to make the ladder bracelet on a monster tail, you will need a monster tail, of course. You will also need a hook. Any hook should work for this design here. You will also need a clip. Any clip that's used to make rubber band bracelets should work. And then lastly, you will of course need bands. And there's only really two different groups of bands that you really need. But I'll go ahead and explain what this third group here is. So anyway, you'll need one group of colors for the single chains. All the single chains in the bracelet, which there are only three. And then you'll need another group of colors for the rungs which stretch across the little single chains here. And this third group here is actually just going to be another color I'm using for the single chains. So these, all these little rainbow pastel colors here, I'm going to be using that for the middle single chain so that you can see the middle from all the other stuff going on on the monster tail. And yeah, so you really only need two different groups but I just have the third group for the middle single chain. Alright, so in the description I'll have the number of each type of band, so the single chain bands and the rung bands that there are, in either one inch or one centimeter of a bracelet, and then you'll just need to figure out how big your wrist is, and yeah, or you could just get a pile of bands and start making this bracelet. But anyway, just go ahead, use the pause button so you can get the supplies you'll need. We'll go ahead and get started. So you'll want the monster tail to have the red dot on the left. And that's just so you will get in the habit of having it like that. When you make other complicated designs. But it's also a little bit important for this design as well. So we'll have the red dot on the left. And we're going to start with a cap band. And we're going to be making this cap band the same color as whatever we're making the metal single chain. If you're making all your single chains the same color, then you don't really need to worry about this, but... I'm going to be making my single chain a bunch of different rainbow colors, so... Yeah, so what you'll do with the band you're going to be making, your cap band, is you'll want to put it on either these two left pins or these two right pins. And you'll twist it going across those two pins. So the left or the right doesn't matter, because what we're going to do now is we're going to get our hook, and we're going to stretch the band, so band up here, we're going to stretch it across these top three pins, and then down here, we're going to go in and stretch the band on the bottom as well. Then you can push it down, and you should have something like this here on your monster tail. That's time to begin the design. So, now what we're doing is we're adding these three bands here. So these neon pink bands and then that gray band there in the middle. So there's nothing special about this next step. We're just going to take two single chain bands, or three single chain bands, I'm sorry. And place one going vertically up these two left pins. One going vertically up these two middle pins. So we're not going to be using these two outside pins here. We're not going to be using those at all. And then we're just going to get one more single chain band, place it going across these two right pins. And then we'll get our hook. So just have your hook nearby for the whole time we're making this. But anyway, you'll get your hook. Loom this bottom cap band. And it's easier to go out to the side. And pull it over the side pins. So you go out to the side and then pull it up and over. And you should have something like this. And then just make sure your red dot's back on the left. And you'll push down all the bands for the next little row here. 
All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do pretty much the same thing again. We're going to get three single chain bands. Place one going across the two left pins, one going across the two middle pins, and one going across the two right pins. And we're just going to now go to each individual pin here that has bands on it and loom the bottom band. So you just grab it with your hook, pull it up and over the pin, do the same thing here in the middle, and same thing here on the other side, or on the right. Then you'll need to turn your monster tail around, or you could just hold your monster tail like this and loop the bands up and over. But I like to turn my monster tail around sometimes. But no matter whatever, however you do the other side, you get the other side of the pins. Make sure you get, or make sure you loom everything so that there's only one band on each of these pins, except for these two here on the very outsides. And also make sure that that red dot is on the left again. Alright, now what we're going to do is something a little bit different. Now we're going to go ahead and get our first two rung bands. So the rubber bands that will be running across the two sides here. So what we're going to do with them is we're going to take one and we're going to place it going all the way across these three top pins and the other going across these three bottom pins. And before we add anything else, what we're going to do is we're going to take our hook and from the inside of the monster tail, so this inside space in between all the pins here, so in here and not out here, you're going to grab the, this little part here of the rung band, I'm just doing the top one first, and you're going to just pull it from the outside, or the inside, to the outside of the middle pin, like that. So I'll go ahead and do it again. So you just have this band, you grab this part here on the inside of the monster tail and just pull it outside of this middle pin here. Then here on the bottom, you'll do the same thing, but you'll pull it to the outside of this bottom middle pin. So bottom band, bottom middle pin. So you'll grab it and you'll just pull it carefully out like that. Right? And now we can go ahead and add the other bands. So our three single chain bands, we can go ahead and add them. One on the left, one in the middle, one on the right. And now looming is also going to be a little bit different. I'm trying to think about how exactly you do this. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to loom the rung rubber bands up onto these single chain bands only on the left side and the right side. So I'll show you what I mean. So you loom, you come over here to the left side, grab the band, pull it up and over onto the single chain band on the left, and then you do the same on the right side. And then what will end up happening is that a little bit of that rung rubber band will get here in, on this middle band, so you'll actually want to pull that back out like that. So make sure that there there is look, <laughs> that there is no rung rubber bands on top of the middle here, or that's in the middle on the middle band. You should have something like this here, and then you can just loom the bottom band on the left side and on the right side. And then in the middle, oops, what you'll want to do is you'll need to go here in the center of your loom and just pull back, or you'll just need to pull back those rung bands before you grab the bottom middle band and loom it. So I'll show you again on the other side of the monster tail. So when you go to loom from now on, you're going to loom the rung rubber band up and over on the left and right pins and what will happen is a little bit of the wrong ripper band will get here in the middle so you'll need to pull it back out like that and then to just loom all the bottom bands the left side and the right side are normal 
But here in the middle, you'll need to pull back the rung rubber band, grab the bottom band, and loom it. And then you can push everything down, make sure the red dot's on the left, and we're going to go ahead and add another little loop to our single chain. So I'm going to go ahead and, so that actually what I showed you is the pattern with the rungs and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the pattern and explain it two more times, and then I'm just going to leave you to continue making the bracelet on your own, and then I'll show you how you close the bracelet off. So, the pattern for making the design is, you first get two rung rubber bands, you place one going all the way across these three top pins, and one going all the way across these three bottom pins. Then with your hook, you're going to take this little loop here. So you're going to take the middle band and make sure you're going to go into the ugh, you're going to take your hook, go in the middle of your monster tail, like in between all these pins here, and then make sure you move the rung rubber band to the outside of the middle pin, like that and outside your loom. It's very important before you do that before you place your single chain bands, which that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go ahead and get our three single chain bands. We're going to place one going across the left, one in the middle, one on the right. And then to loom, what we're going to do is we're first going to start with the rung bands. We're going to take which this little part here, pull it up and over the left and the right side, and then here in the middle, you'll need to make sure that you take this little part here and just put it back outside of that middle pin again, and then to loom all your bottom bands, you just do it's pretty much normal, just grab the bottom band, pull it up and over on the left and the right pins, but here in the middle, you'll need to pull back the rung ripper bands, and then grab the bottom band and loom it into the middle. Then you'll turn your monster tail around and do the same thing. You'll grab that rung band, pull it up over the right and the left, and then bring this little loop, make sure you bring it back out side of this middle pin, loom the left and right bottom bands normally, and then in the middle you need to pull back all the rung bands and grab that bottom single chain band and loom it. Then you can push the bands down, and the pattern starts over. So I'm going to go ahead and show you and explain it one more time, and then I'm going to explain how you close off the bracelet, and also what you're going to do with these rung rubber bands, which should be starting to crowd up that middle pin. So, yeah, so to start, you get two rung rubber bands, place one going across these three top pins and the other going across these three bottom pins. Then with your hook, you need to go here in the middle of your loom, in the center of all these pins here, and make sure you get that rung band and just pull it out side of the middle pin there, only the middle pin, and you do the same on the other side. Then. We go ahead and place our single chain bands, one going across the left, one going across the middle, and one going across the right. And then to loom, you would get your hook of course, you would first deal with this little rung band you added, you pull that up and over the left and right sides, and here when you get something like this, you need to make sure you get the rung band. Pull it back out side of that middle pin, and then looming the bottom bands, it's just normal on the left and right sides, and in the middle, you'll need to pull back the rung bands, grab that bottom single chain band, and there you go. Make sure you do the same thing on the other side, you'll loom the rung band first, bring this back out outside the middle, and then looming the bottom bands, normal on the left side, normal on the right side, and then in the middle, pull back all these rung bands, and grab the bottom single chain band, and loom it in. 
And there you go. So that's the pattern. You would get two more rung bands and start over. And, well, as you can see here, these rung rubber bands, they're really crowding this middle pin. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what you do with them. So it's really easy. And it only takes a few seconds. So what we have to do is we need to move this middle band from the middle pins. And we usually just do this one pin at a time. So what you do is you take your hook and grab that middle single chain band and just pull it off the pin. Make sure it stays on that other pin on the other side. And make sure it stays on your hook. And you're just going to take this loop here that's on your hook now and just bring it out to the side. Put on a side pin. Then you'll use your hook or you can just use your fingers. And you'll just want to pull up or push up all these rung bands that are here on the middle pin and just get them off of there and now that pin is clear and you can put this single chain band that you had on the outside or that you put over on this outer pin you can move it back to the middle and then you'll turn your muster tail around and do the same thing on the other side so you'll just grab that single chain band bring it out to the side and just get those rung bands out of there and then put that middle band or that yeah, that little band you put on the side, put it back in the middle again. And then, you can start the pattern over and continue making the bracelet. And you'll just have to clear out the rung bands either every third time or every second time. It really doesn't matter. You can even do it every single time if you want. But, yeah, so, you'll just go ahead and repeat the pattern. In the description I'll have the time that you'll go back to if you're not sure exactly how the, what the pattern is or how you make the bracelet. And yeah, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you close the bracelet off. So, anyway, to close the design off, you're going to need three single chain bands. And well, that's pretty much it, except you will need an additional band, which will be attached to your clip, but we don't need that quite yet. So just pop that off to the side, and also have your clip off to the side as well. And all we're going to do is we're first, er, no. what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and place the bands, so the single chain bands, like normal, so one going vertically up the left, one going vertically up the r middle, and one going vertically up the right. No wrong rubber bands this time. And you'll just want to take your hook and loom all the bottom bands. So this is pretty much what we did near the beginning. And so then what we're going to do is we're going to take all the bands here on our monster tail and move them all to be on two pins. So you can put them all here in the middle, you can put them all here on the left, you can put them all here on the right. But wherever you're going to move them, I'm going to be moving mine to the left. You're just going to pretty much what you did when you were clearing out those rung rubber bands in the middle. You're basically just going to take the band with your hook and move it over to whichever pin you're moving everything to and also all the bottom bands will go to a bottom pin and all the top bands up here will go to a top pin and then you also want the pins to be both the left pin both the right pin or both the middle pin so anyway you'll just basically take the band off the pin it was on and bring it over to whichever one you're moving it to then you would do the same thing with the other side of that same band, except it would go to either the top pin or the bottom pin, because that's what side it's on. So you have something like that. And then you would get one more band, or you would get the last band and bring it all the way over. And then. I'm about to lose my bracelet there. Oh, 
what is happening here? Alright, give me just a second, having a little bit of technical difficulties. Everything is just going crazy right now. Alright, there we go. So, as you can see, you definitely need to be careful when you're doing this. And, well, once you have everything on two pins, so... In this case, everything's here on the left. You're going to take your last band. So now you're going to get your last band. You're using it to attach to your clip. You'll just put that on top of everything there. And then loop all of these bottom bands, all three of them, onto this top and new band here. Then once everything is on, now you're going to move all the bands to be onto one pin. So you'll pretty much just take one side of this new band and carefully take it off the pin and bring it up to the other end of the new band up here or down wherever and so you'll end up with something like this and now we'll get our clip and we'll attach it to this band here and you can use your hook to stretch stretch it out a little bit so that it's easier to get the clip on so stretch it out to another pin and you can Put your clip on it much easier, and then once your clip is on that new little band there, you can take the band off your loom, and then you'll have your your ladder bracelet, and then you'll take your clip and attach it to the cap band on the other end of the bracelet, which is like this little circle thing here. And then once your clip is on that cap band, you now have your ladder bracelet. Or ladder ring, because I didn't make this a full bracelet. But, you get the idea. So, yeah, that's actually it for the tutorial. So, I would like to thank you for watching my video. Hopefully it showed you how to make the ladder bracelet on the monster tail successfully. Hopefully now you have your own little ladder bracelet. It's cool and stuff. And... Maybe you, wanna, you have a regular loom and you want to see how you make it on that. And I will have a link to the original creator's tutorial and stuff down in the description. And yeah, so if you like this bracelet, I have another bracelet that you might want to try. And if you ever made a fishtail, well, I have a fishtail ladder bracelet. And... I'll have a link to the tutorial for that because it's also on the monster tail. I'll have a link to that tutorial as well and if you want to make it then it'll be there. And yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to say for this video other than thanks for watching and bye!